Fuck, dude. <gasps> turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around. Go through it. Bro, turn around. What even is it? Turn. Dude, stop, 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 stop. Stop, <laughs> stop. go, go, go. Miko. Slow down, slow Miko. down. Miko. She got your license, bro. She got your license. The following footage is from inside the gate of Oculus Anubis. I did not record this and I personally don't know the videographer of this content. The footage was already posted on a different website, I just asked if I could use it. And be mindful that it was filmed on a cell phone, so the quality is not the best. Enjoy. footage puts to rest a couple of rumors that were associated around pictures of what's inside the gate. These following images, for example, were not shown in this video. attend the court hearing for Anthony Neal. It was noted that the father and son used about $3 million in Oculus funds to start building a multi-million dollar 35,000 square foot house. The house was being built for Anthony Neal and his wife and I think that's what we were seeing here in this footage. 
Um, it was a construction that didn't get finished, but it was complete with a helipad and a tennis pavilion. And one of the internet theories that turned out to be true was there are underground tunnels. In construction, there was a 75-yard heated underground tunnel that was supposed to link Anthony Neal and his wife's house to his father, Dr. Neal's house. But again, it was never finished. When I walked into the court, Anthony's defense lawyer was talking and was showing pictures like this of the gate. And he said that Anthony suffers from autism and he was manipulated by his dad. He was a servant to his monstrous and distorted father. So he pretty much was pleading that Anthony was manipulated into committing these crimes. The opposing attorney agreed that Dr. Neal was the mastermind behind the whole Oculus scheme, but he didn't accept that Anthony was necessarily his father's puppet. With all this information, the judge closed with the following. You are not dumb, you were certainly under the thumb of your father, but you knew right from wrong, so you have culpability. You're vulnerable without a doubt in my mind, but something has got to be done. My solution is not perfect. Anthony Neal was sentenced to one year and one day in federal prison. He was ordered to pay $1.7 million in restitution to Medicare, Care Oregon, and several private health insurance companies, and $800,000 to the IRS. When I first approached the project of Oculus Anubis, I thought I was investigating if it was an evil cult or not. But it turns out it was something a lot more realistic and still very evil. We can conclude that Oculus Anubis was not a cult. It was a lair for a father and son to scheme and plan out crimes that they were going to commit. I'm glad justice was served, and it was a fun process to document and investigate Oculus Anubis as it happened in real time. If there's other places you guys want me to document and investigate, leave a comment in the section below of where it is and I'd be happy to look into it. Have a nice day guys, subscribe for more content.